Hey guys, Ronald and Jane here. Um, let's go get some comics. Hey guys, I just got back. Um, unfortunately, uh, for some odd reason, I don't know if it's the camera being cursed or whatnot, uh, I couldn't get the footage out of the, the, the comic book shop and show off the new graphic novels or comics that they put out and the place looks, you know, like pimped out and whatnot. There's, they have their own stand that's with, you know, all the action figures and whatnot. They have new statues that I want to show off. If anyone was interested to going to uh, check them out, and um, so unfortunately I couldn't show off the store again, but I did manage to get for now four comics. So let's see what they are, shall we? So here we go, guys: Samurai, Daredevil, Suicide Squad, and Batgirl: Birds of Prey issue two. So. I, as much as a, of a Marvel fan that I am, DC Rebirth has been knocking it out of the park when it comes to like showing off new titles and um, putting out good storylines that are, you know, I mean, they're just into their first few issues. But I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in, I'm in with these with these stories. Let you know, let's let's get it going, whatnot. So I was um blast, you know, blown away by the Birds of Prey um storyline and. Same thing with Suicide Squad. I, you know, I saw the movie. People have their opinions about it. I have my opinion about it. And I was wondering how it would um, feel in the comics. First issue blew blew me away, and they had they had not even introduced the rest or the full team yet, I believe. And so, I wanted to see where the characters go from now on, and see if I can see a little bit more of Katana. I almost said Katana. <laughs> And then there's Samurai. Now I didn't I don't know nothing about this except that it must be about a samurai. And um, the reason why I got it is that for those who don't know that Ronin basically means a samurai without a master, a teacher, a lord. And um which is you know, it comes from, from my my respect and admiration. For the for not just Japanese or Chinese, but just Asian culture in general, and for this for you know for this instance, samurai right now, the Japanese culture or not, and when I heard there was a comic book about samurais, and I you know, I was like, eh, maybe I'll, I'll check it out, and I see this and I see this cover, guys. I mean, look at that. Looks like, looks like something you know. Looks like those um. Well, you know, well made um, posters from the seventies, like the Enter the Dragon poster and whatnot. So, I hope this book lives up to the title, and I hope it has a good storyline. And it's gonna, it's and with the exception of Sin City, it'll be my first um, non Marvel DC book to like be intrigued and hopefully have. You know, hope in it and whatnot to to go above and beyond and like have me and you know instead of just DC and Marvel, let's try Titan Comics. Let's try Dark Horse, Dark Dark Horse, Dark Horse Comics and whatnot. So hopefully it's a good book and whatnot. And lastly, uh, a character or two characters that I've grown to to respect, admire, and love as much as Wolverine, Hulk, Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Iron Man, I mean, you name it, Daredevil. Now, you guys know what I feel about the, the Netflix series, how much I love it. I've been reading up, you know, the issue after issue after issue, and it's just like, uh, it's like a film noir, you know, Shutter Island or Blade Runner type thing meets superheroes and whatnot. And in my opinion, in the Marvel side, the best street level hero ever of Marvel Universe is Daredevil. So hopefully the storyline just keeps on going, getting better and better. And again, as much as the, you know, stories can be good as well, but imagery's got to you know 
captivate me. You know, I'm doing the the anti rule. Don't judge a book by its cover. But look at this cover, guys. Matt Murdock looking into a what it what it looks like a daredevil statue and just blood coming out of it. Come on, guys. Come on now. I had to. <laughs> I had to get it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this um comics vlog. Unfortunately there was no vlogging uh that I could po post up or you know even the my my regular like road road um um uh, footage to in, you know to the comics uh, it wasn't worth it to me and uh, I felt bad because they have I mean they put in a cool new stand new statues I'm like I gotta show it to, I gotta show this to the world and whatnot so hopefully I could you know probably get a new camera or fix it up and maybe get you know footage out sooner than you know later but um that's gonna be it for this video guys if you guys like the video Hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.